Hello everyone, and welcome to one last Raven match. Oh, looks like I'm up against a Korean opponent, possibly? I have no idea what language that is, but... Well, maybe I do. I do say sure. Although the um makes it a little suspect whether I understood it. But I guess sure was the right answer, because Diesel's continuing in his Korean. So I'm like, alright, gotta put an end to this. I'm gonna do my best Korean insult I know. Take that! Ugh. See, I can do random stuff that's not alphabetical, too. <laughs> I think that showed him up. So yeah, I am I'm in the process right now of uploading that Raven series, and YouTube uploads is so such a hog on my bandwidth that I can't play StarCraft 2 at the same time. At least not with like a little bit of delay. It's very slight, but it's enough that it annoys me. So I'm like, what else can I do right now? I don't feel like working. I don't feel like going outside. So like, eh, let's commentate one last video. So I am the Red Terran in the 9 o'clock position, and the 3 o'clock position is my orange diesel uh, Terran opponent. And I am chasing this scouting SCV out, and I don't mind following him, because if he leads me somewhere that's not his base, then they're both idle and it's okay. And if he does lead me to his base, uh, then I get to scout him without searching for him, which is fine by me too. And let's see what I've seen. Uh, just, well, that's all you need to see, really. You know, barracks, gas, supply ready. depot right at the beginning. No early add-ons. I'm not worried about Reapers at the moment. I don't think we'll ever have to worry about Reapers again with all the nerfs of real Reapers have gotten. To get one little hit on that uh, green with my SCV, which I think was just enough to finish off, finish it off. Now I'm chasing him out with my SCVs, and at the same time, it's just to get the transfer. Buy time for the fortress to finish, and then use those as transferred SCVs. I'm actually setting up my bailing bust wall, uh, more or less for the purpose of keeping all this bio from like flooding bio up to the top of my ramp. Um, I want him to be in this area, so he has to fight my fortress. Keeps me from having to build a bunker, and it keeps me alive a little bit easier. And being Korean, he is going to continue with the aggression. At least I assume the Asian server is still more aggressive. Um, interesting history. The early days of StarCraft II beta, everyone sucked at the game. But the, on the Asian server, they sucked in a very opposite way to the US server. Uh, very slow on my micro there. I could have easily pulled those Marines back and wasted that scan. But now he's going to get to be able to pick up my wall here. If he does move forward to try to kill these SCVs, though, it's not going to work out well for him. Like so. <laughs> Especially once I get this range upgrade done. And then I might finish him off on the high ground. Yeah, so no one knew in the early days of the beta when good timing pushes were. Like when you had an advantage over in the, another race. So what everyone did on the US server was they just kind of sat back, expanded up, and waited until they got like 200 of 200 supply, and then they pushed out with their army. So any small advantage they would have had earlier in the game, they just ignore it. Where in the Asian server, they didn't know timing pushes either, but they did the exact opposite, where they just figured any time's a great time to push out, and they just flood units non-stop, just suiciding them all the time, and just doing dumb, dumb pushes. <laughs> so where we wouldn't push at all, they would just push non-stop. So, it's kind of interesting how the two different servers developed in such an opposite manner. I'm sure these days, both servers have figured out the good timing, so they've, you know, settled down a bit, and we've sped up a bit. Um, I do want to stop it here, just take a look at my view. So, this is what I've scouted in this base when I scanned him. I saw he threw on a second um, barracks, and then followed it up with a factory with a tech lab, and now he's throwing up two starports. And this is kind of why I wanted to commentate this game, because I was trying to figure out what this was. I'm like, well, is he going to be pumping out marines from these guys, add in a couple of tanks, maybe get two quick medevacs for a drop? Or was he intending to make the tech lab to swap with the uh, starports, and maybe he's going for banshees? So. I couldn't figure out what he was doing, and what he ended up doing was the last thing on my mind, which is honestly a little ironic in that he's rushing Raven. 
Ravens. Even I don't expect Ravens, and that's exactly what I'm doing for like the last 15 games. Uh, actually, should rewind a touch because he did a nice little move here. One thing I like to do versus Terran is when I make my first starport, immediately make a Viking and send it like beeline it straight at his first starport. Um, because you'll never know when you catch him, like like a medevac popping out of it or a banshee popping out of it, and if you can like catch it when it's still in his base, it's nice to get a quick, easy kill like that. But look what he did—he diverted his ravens out of the way just to avoid that ra that uh, Viking. He did spot it with the Salnaga and did a nice little juke move to get by me and force my Viking out with 17 hit points. Now he is going to try to come in the back of my base, but I tried to make myself drop proof, which is going to work out for this as well. Well, maybe you can sneak between these two. There is a lot of space. <laughs> Not with my range upgrade. And even without it, you probably can't get through. Uh, something to note, if you are going to drop a base, it may be, like, to say with a lot of medevacs or a lot of overlords, and you don't, you want to fly over these uh, missile turrets, it might be natural for you to think, well, I'm going to go between the turrets where that's the weakness. But honestly, that will just get you hit by two turrets at once. The weakest point is actually flying directly over a turret. That way you can fly like through here and land in here and you'll only ever get hit by the one turret on the way in. The other two will stay um, out of range. So that might not be something that comes to you naturally, but yeah, fly directly over a turret if you want to drop a base. So here he comes in with two Banshees and two Ravens. Intercepting my third base. So I'm like, eh, that's probably not the best idea. Let's just hide this piece for now. And dropping some auto turrets on my high ground. Which isn't that annoying at the moment. I haven't given away what I'm up to yet, but with the auto turret on the low ground, I'm like, ah, I better do it. So I'm going to have to come in here and give away what I'm up to. And with getting cornered in here and with one Viking out, or two Vikings out now, actually. I was able to hold it off. Yeah, I was actually, I didn't know what the heck to do. I started pumping Vikings, I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that. And I built a Ghost Academy, I'm like, oh, maybe I can EMP them. I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that either. So I just went back to Mass Ravens. And this kind of sucks, I'm kind of trapped here. I got Vikings on one side of me and Missile Turrets on the other. And it's hard to get protection from Vikings just because of the range of the Vikings is so huge. And when I finally got this Missile Turret dead and finally got some Auto Turrets in the back to protect both sides, it was already too late, so I lost all my ravens, but I did destroy his force pretty well as well, so that's how we more or less evened out, and I got my third expansion down where he didn't, going for my fourth as well. And this is the point of the game where I build up a lot of minerals, you can see I'm not building from my barracks and factory, even though I hotkeyed them, I just have them on top of it. I can see he values uh, marines just as much as I do, which is not at all. I think he did push him far enough to get some uh, SCV kills. I believe I pulled some SCVs from my main. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he didn't kill any SCVs, maybe he just died to the fortress. So auto turrets all did complete though. I think I even finished all that factory. Did he move it? Mm, nope, I got the factory. And the starports. So I detect them. Oh no, I still got one starport actually. Anyways, looks like he's throwing down more barracks, so I guess he's tech switching back to bio. Not me, I'm Ravens for life. Ah, finally building some of that stuff, spending some of those minerals down to 2,000 from 5,000. Building three command centers at once helps spend that money. And if he hasn't noticed it already, he's going to find this expansion. Oh, he knew it was there. You cannot fight a fortress. What are you thinking? Uh, Marauders do snipe fortresses very fast if you get enough of them, but he only had like two or three there. So he's going to pick on this uh, refinery, which is fine by me. Just uh, leave a couple SCVs to repair it and have the rest mining from it. It's gonna get intercepted. Look, I like how it makes his uh, command center glow by just having my landing zone directly on top of it. That one failed, but I'm gonna steal his island. At the same time, moving out with my ravens. 
Did not micro this at all. I still had three SCVs left on auto repair, but this is where you can see a lot of uh, stim marauders can snipe it quickly. I needed all of them. But at the same time, returning the damage. Got a good amount of ravens now. I'm up to 15, which is a good number. Dusting his expansion. And sending my hellions in deep. And I believe my marines are on A move, but they all died. So my hellions did kill whatever was left of SCVs here. Yeah, let's just kind of run and see if there's anything there to kill. Still a good number here. No, I think the auto turrets would have got the, the Hellions didn't. So, leaving a good cluster here, trying to take down all his production facilities. Same time, moving back to this expansion while he's trying to clean up his main base. I do see the fortress. Setting up some auto turrets on the outer edges. Do notice I can hit him, but not vice versa, because he doesn't have the range upgrade where my auto turrets do. Did clean up his base, but he's also expanded to the two top bases, making this one glow again, meaning that I'm probably trying to land on top of it. damage up here, but I'm keeping it repaired, and I'm keeping this refinery mining. So I think I bring in more than enough to repair it, so it's still worthwhile here. Need more auto turrets to retake this base. Try to finish off his main production in there. <laughs> you get just auto turrets anywhere and everywhere. Big push on my main base, but I had another cluster of marines and hellions, and Diesel has left the game. Where's my Korean GG? I want to see the two little stars. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, I think that was a fun game, because we are both mass expanding, and <laughs> we are both kept trying to expand to places where there was already an opponent's expansion, and then... You can really see the power of these um, auto turrets once you get the good mass of um, ravens out. It's like almost non-stop, just keeping them on this back foot. And then facing a raven rush myself. <laughs> I mean, that was hilarious. It was so funny to me when I saw the ravens. I'm like, oh my god, that was the last thing I thought of. <laughs> if I cannot think of ravens, I'm pretty sure none of my opponents will ever be able to think of ravens. So, that was quite entertaining. Well, I think those SCVs. You know what these SCVs are here from? When I first floated my command center over here, I tried to move them over there to build a bunch of uh, air turrets and refineries. But my wall was closed, so instead they just ran into the corner here. And for the rest of the entire game, they sat there doing nothing. Who knows how long these guys have been here for. In fact, everyone here is uh, not doing anything. I have a lot of idle workers. Full control group of vital workers, nice, love it. But I think I have a good enough excuse. There was a lot of other stuff going on, a lot of failed expansion attempts, and a lot of auto turning. Anyways, we're gonna call it the end of this replay. I hope I kept this to one video. It should be. I can't believe this would be 15 minutes. So uh, thanks everyone, and yeah, next up is gonna be some live sessions.